Sir Seymour is a non-hostile NPC found in Basement 3. He's part of an elaborate side quest with a dozen different endings, but more importantly, he carries a strong weapon and good helmet that he can loot off his corpse. His only attacking part is his Claymore, which has a massive 700 HP. The Claymore uses Vertical Sweep A, which cuts an arm, Vertical Sweep B, which cuts a leg, and Horizontal Sweep, which is the same as the Assassin Spectres. Low chance to cut an arm, or infect an arm, or infect a leg. Since it hits the whole party, worst case scenario is that he gives two infections to, and takes an arm from, everyone. The two vertical sweeps hit for 45, and horizontal sweep hits for 30. Because he can cut both your arms and your legs, the only safe way to fight him, regardless of party composition and skills, is the Salmon Snake Soul. Or a party that can deal 700 damage to his arms before they attack. His head has 200 HP, so aiming for a lucky headshot often won't work. His torso has 1200 HP, so it's often faster to go for the legs than the head. However, his Claymore is the earliest guaranteed strong weapon, so it's worth killing him early, and each character has their own way to do that without the Salmon Snake Soul. I'd still recommend saving at the crow bed before fighting him, in case something goes wrong. With the mercenary, you can actually use on guard during the conversation. This allows you to easily get a surprise round. If you have a throwing dart, you can hit his torso with it and guard until he dies of poison. If you have an explosive vial, you can throw it to take out both his legs, then take his head off for round two. If you use lockpicking to free the little girl, you can take out one leg, she can take out the other, and then you can take out the head. Keep in mind that her unupgraded dagger might not deal enough damage to defeat a leg in one hit. It's much safer to have her attack with anything else. With the knight, you can use defense stance. It will make his attacks miss more often, and even if they hit, as long as the shield icon is up, you won't lose a limb. Theoretically, you could also use fast stance for this by guarding on the first turn to keep your limbs and only attack on the extra turn, but he'll probably cut off a limb during the turn you set up fast attack, making it not worth it. With the dark priest, you can use necromancy. You and your ghoul will probably lose some limbs, but you can easily form a marriage afterwards to get them back. Which also gives you the ability to use the claymore you murdered him for. With the Outlander, you can go into the menu, pick Return to Title, and then pick a better character. Let me know down in the comments which enemy you want me to cover next. I'll ignore it, but let me know anyway.